Hello and welcome, Namaskar, Time Series Analysis and now we are going to discuss conversion of trend. In the first phase we learned how to determine various types of trends, linear trend, non-linear trend in which we discussed two types of non-linear trends, second degree parabola and the exponential trend. Now we are going to study something about conversion of trend equation. If we want to change the trend equation, there can be two types of changes. One is shifting the origin. As we know that to fit a trend, we take middle year or mean of the two middle years as origin. Now after fitting the trend, if we want to change the origin of the trend, what should we do? In this lecture we are going to discuss and in some more lectures also we are going to discuss about the shifting of trend or rather shifting of origin and in this case we are going to discuss the point of shifting the origin with respect to linear trend. Let's take a case and try to understand it. The annual linear trend is y or y estimated equals to 13 plus 0.75 x. What is 13? The, we know that the standard form of the linear trend is a plus bx. So a is the constant of the equation that is 13 and we know that it is actually the estimated value of the dependent variable for the year or period of origin and 0.75 is the slope of this linear trend. If we draw a line on the basis of this linear trend, the slope of that line is equivalent to B that is 0.75 here, it is positive. So the constant rate, rate of change is positive 0.75 that means gradually by 0.75 units the value increases. Okay. Now, we need to change the time series to have its origin first in 2017 and July 1 against the origin of 2013 July 1. We need to keep it on the annual basis. X is rather X units are on one year and Y units are on annual total. Y can be anything. It's like quantity or amount or any numerical value which is the subject of our interest. Now from 2013 July 1 we need to change the origin to 2017 July 1. First of all 2017 minus 2013 that is 4 and 4 is positive that means we want to change or shift the origin forward. Now what? The original trend given is y equals to or estimated y equals to 13 plus 0.75x. We need to put forward the origin by 4 years. So now it will be something like this. Plus 4. If this is positive we have to add it to the x. If it is negative, we have to subtract it from x. Now it is just case of simplification. 0 0.75 into x will be 0.75x plus 0.75 into 4 will be 3. Further simplification is 13 plus 3 because we have to add the two constants. So now the new trend with origin in 2017 July 1 is estimated value of y equals to 16 plus 0.75 x okay. where origin 2017 July 1 x units one year no change y units annual totals no change where is the change 
the change is in the value of the constant a there is no change in the value of the slope of the line b now the second point is change the time series to have its origin in 2011 july 1 so first of all 2011 minus origin that is minus 2 that means this is backward shift the original trend given is y equals to 13 plus 0.75x now we want to go back by 2 years so the new trend will be 13 plus 0.75 into x minus 2 from the original origin we are going back for 2 years Simplification is 0.75x minus 1.5. That means 13 minus 1.5 plus 0.75x, and that means y equals to 11.5 plus 0.75x. Again, the observation is there is change in the value of constant y only and not in the slope b. So the conclusion can be number one the chain sorry the constant A only changes and second is no change in the slope B. This is the common broad conclusion. If you take any other year or say month to change the origin of the same trend, the same conclusion will be there. Now in the next lecture, we are going to discuss about the shifting of origin in case of non-linear trend. That's it. Thank you very much.